latest in Adani Hindenburg matter, SEBI has now alleged that Hindenburg colluded with Kingdom Capital to short sell Adani Enterprises and has issued a show cause notice to the short seller. My colleague Sajit Manga joins in to give us those details. Sajit, what are you picking up? That's right. Uh, the Market Regulator Securities and Exchange Board of India has uh, sent a showcase notice uh, to Hindenburg and to Kingdon uh, Capital uh, or Mark Kingdon, uh, Kingdon and his uh, entities, which are which is a foreign investor based out of Mauritius, uh, for uh, alleged violations in these securities uh, laws with respect to shorts uh, created in Adani Enterprises. Uh, the regulator in his investigation found that short selling began much before the Hindenburg report was made public uh, by by the US based short seller. Uh, it also said that uh, you know as part of the entire uh, setup, there was an Indian entity, Kotak Mahindra Bank, uh, who, whose arm created and structured the entire fund so that it can be so that money can be channelized from Mauritius to India and into into the Indian markets so that it can be short. Uh, yeah, Adani stocks can be short uh, in the Indian market there Adani Enterprise was the only stock in the derivatives market and so the shots were done in Adani Enterprises which began in almost uh, at the beginning of uh, January of 2023 uh, the the account was set up by Kotak uh, in uh, between uh, Jan 5th to Jan 10th, and on Jan 10th, uh, the first shots came in uh, from uh, from Kingdom Capital uh, or the K Fund, as it's called, which is the vehicle through which uh, uh, Mark Kingdon's entire entities invested into the Indian markets. Uh, as per the agreements which have been found uh, by uh, SEBI between Kingdon and the Hind Hindenburg, uh, the entire thing began in uh, began as uh, began and as Jan uh, November of 2022, when the draft report of uh, Adani was shared with uh, Kingdon, and based on that, there was an agreement which was agreed uh, that there will be a profit sharing of nearly 30 percent uh, of uh, based on the shorts uh, gains from the shorts that will be uh, shared between Hindenburg uh, to to Hindenburg by Kingdon. Uh, what what if, what followed was that the entire setting up of the account or the fund by Kotak uh, was uh, delayed. It, there was a cost involved to it. As a result of which, this profit share from 30% reduced to 25%. But uh, it did uh, continue. Uh, the, the profit share did continue after that. Uh, Hindenburg uh, came out with a report on Jan 24th. Uh, as per the investigation uh, undertaken by. Um, Securities and Exchange Board of India or SEBI market regulator. Uh, the short began on Jan 10th. Uh, Kingdom uh, entities uh, began shorting on Adani Enterprises. They took a position of nearly eight and a half lakh shares. These shares uh, continued for the month of January till Jan 28th, and thereafter it was rolled over to to the next uh, contract, which was a February contract. Contract. Uh, Kingdon knew about the fact that there could be a report coming out soon and so that's the reason why the entire shots were rolled over to the next month and uh, on Jan 24th when the entire uh, uh, public uh, report was made public uh, there was a decline in Adani Enterprise shares which fell as much as 59 percent from Jan 24th to, uh, to February uh, and that's when uh, the profits were uh, you know taken by Kingdon. Uh, Kingdon started squaring off the shares in early February onwards between February 1st and February 22nd in uh, thereby getting a return of or profit of nearly 183 crores from the sales short sales which they gained and of that 25% was shared uh, with uh, Hindenburg uh, further what has happened is that uh, uh, the the, uh, the entire entity or the vehicle with, through which it was done, it was undertaken by Kotak Mahindra Investment Limited, which is KMIL. Um, Hindenburg has gone on record to say that uh, the SEBI investigation uh, report does not take any action or mention of Kotak vehicle, which was used to structure the entire investment. But it has been uh, Hindenburg and Kingdon has been targeted as part of this focus notice there. So if you look at the modus operandi of uh, how it has gone through, the draft report was shared by Hindenburg with Mark Hind Kingdon uh, in as uh, early as November of 2022. Um, Hindenburg waited uh, for Kingdon to s uh, set up an account uh, uh, with the help of Kotak. Uh, this trading account came up on Jan between Jan 5th and Jan uh, 10th of 2023. Uh, Hindenburg and Kingdon then agreed to share profits uh, in the ratio of 25%. It was earlier 30% then got reduced to 25% due to cost and uh, time overruns. And then the report was pre-planned 
to coincide with the fall on public offer of Adani Enterprises, which was underway at the time of the report uh, release. Uh, Adani Enterprises completed the uh, FPO, but then had to withdraw the FPO and give the money back to the investor due to, because uh, of in, uh, because to safeguard the uh, you know investors there and. The best part is that Hindenburg claimed that it had no association with any Indian securities market, but uh, the investigation by SEBI revealed very clearly uh, that, you know, despite this disclaimer, there was a profit share agreement between Kingdon and Hindenburg uh, for the profit that it uh, would earn from the Indian market after shorting Adani Enterprises there. So, uh, India Fund was created uh, especially for trading in Adani Enterprise script uh, by Kingdon. Uh, that fund did not have any other investment except for Adani uh, uh, future sh shots which were uh, created through that. Uh, also, the fact is that uh, if you look at the kind of profit which have been uh, garnered by these entities, uh, Hindenburg traded in the bonds of Adani in the overseas market, which is outside India. They got a net loss uh, of that, uh, and this uh, trading which happened was between November 20, uh, 2022 and March of 2023. Uh, bonds traded were in Adani Electricity, Mumbai, Adani Green Energy, Adani Ports, and SEZ. Uh, these three bonds, but uh, uh, but for trading in bonds, they had a loss of nearly five thousand uh, odd dollars, which is there. Uh, but what where it gained was uh, trading, uh, taking positions in the ETF, which is exchange traded funds, and the MSCI India Index, where it went short from. Uh, uh, January 24th onwards till the end of February and in the process Hindenburg got a profit of nearly 9.2 million dollars. So uh, if you look at the total positions uh, which were created, it was more than 43 million dollars of uh, positions which were created. Uh, but uh, and gains were roughly around uh, 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 22 million dollars, which uh, which 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 was there, of which 25 percent was uh, was shared with Hindenburg. So Hindenburg got a, a profit of nearly 14 and a half, 15 million dollars from this entire transaction. And uh, Kingdom Capital, which is a foreign uh, uh, Mauritius-based FPI, got the remaining uh, uh, profits. Right. Thank you so much, Sajit. Uh, for that comprehensive for those comp comprehensive details and uh, we'll bring you more details through the day